On this week's episode, we tell you guys all about this new playground, our sensory rooms, and we get a visit from Jimmy Johnson to make some donuts. What's up, race fans? It's finally summertime here in the Pocono Mountains, and we've got ourselves a brand new playground. Yeah, that's right, JJ, and it's all thanks to some great partners that have helped make it happen. Absolutely, Kevin. The Pocono Mountain Visitors Bureau and Culture City have been instrumental in helping make Pocono Raceway the first sensory inclusive motorsports facility in the world. And who better to tell you a little bit more about it than our CEO, Nick Dalski? A lot of people don't know, but a vision here at Pocono Raceway, we actually have a vision statement, yes, um, is to become the most beloved motorsports facility by exceeding expectations in guest services, entertainment, and value while still embracing our uniqueness and character. As you can see from behind me, we embarked on a project that serves all of this. The Pocono Mountains Inclusive Playground will be in the infield of Pocono Raceway for the life of the raceway. It will be here for the enjoyment of all guests of Pocono, from our race weekend camping guests to the thousands of guests who visit the track for the dozens of other events we host throughout the year. In addition to those guests, this playground will be open to the entire community to use free of charge for children of all abilities to enjoy, learn, play, and grow together. But this inclusive playground is just a taste of what makes today's festivities so special. We are thrilled to announce that we have entered a partnership with Culture City. Culture City is a leading nonprofit recognized nationwide for their using their resources to revolutionize and affect change in the community for those with sensory needs, and not just those with autism. The elements and details we're about to disclose also benefit those who live with PTSD, dementia, strokes, OCD, ACHD, Parkinson's, and Down syndrome. People have asked why did you decide to pursue the inclusive initiative? The response is simple. Why on earth would you leave out one in five people alone in the United States? This partnership will make Pocono Raceway the first inclusive racetrack in the world. Wow, JJ, that was really cool. And it looks like Jimmy Johnson enjoyed his time here as well. Yeah, I'm sure he did, Kevin. Jimmy does so much for kids' programs, both here and across the country. Hey, Andy, why don't you roll that clip of Jimmy? Thank you, it is uh, It's a great honor to be here today. And obviously, I, I come um, in trying to do some uh, pre-race marketing and advertising to raise awareness uh, for this week, or not this weekend's event, but the upcoming race and races that, that are gonna take place here. Um, you know, so it's easy to be in that workspace and that mindset. Um, and that's the way my relationship first started with this racetrack was to come here, go to work, compete on this tricky triangle, try to pull into victory lane. But through the years, my friendship with the Mattioli family, with the racetrack has, uh, has continued to grow. The involvement um, that I've had personally with them and then also with the Jimmy Johnson Foundation has grown. And this track has embraced us and our initiatives to help uh, families in need and have worked very close with us to offer a ticket package over the years um, for families to come out and enjoy the races. And I volunteer and dedicate my time to come out and spend some time with them prior to the race. And we've had sponsors chip in, need things for me to sign and pass out and give away. So all in all, it's just been a, been a great program. And the Jimmy Johnson Foundation really focuses hard on um, the areas where my wife and I both grew up and then where we live in North Carolina to impact those communities. So our, our uh, vision statements or our visions in general have, have, off, have always aligned and to, uh, to see what is taking place here and going to the next level once again doesn't surprise me one bit. Um, this, this track and the family have always um, stood out in my mind and in the way I think that NASCAR views the tracks that we go to. It's family run and operated and a, a place that really cares about their community. And it's, it's obvious and continues to be shown through these, uh, these great um, kind of extensions and expansions to the racetrack and, and the fan experience here. So glad to be here on, on both levels to, to represent our sport and then to also be a part of uh, the great news that's taking place here at the track. Thank you. In fact, Jimmy was so excited about these additions that he decided to celebrate with some donuts in our pace car. Well, there you have it, race fans. If you guys like to learn a little bit more about the playground or the new sensory rooms, head on over to PoconoRaceway.com. We look forward to seeing you here for the Pocono 400. Bring the friends, bring the family, bring the kids, and enjoy this new playground like I'm about to do. See you guys later. Where's he going?
Kevin, come on now, man.